honestly, everyone was anticipating that the invasion will, will happen within a few days uh, after the, the statement that was given by former President Bush. And uh, everyone was fully prepared uh, for it. Um, no one was under an illusion that the Iraqi government that has been dealing with uh, sanctions and bombardments for the past 13 years at the time uh, would have any chance to uh, sustain or protect the country from a foreign invasion led by the US and Britain. So everyone knew that the government will collapse. Um, I even um, met and saw a few uh, friends and, and family members uh, who told me that they saw firsthand uh, Iraqi soldiers uh, packing some civilian clothes with them, uh, preparing for the moment where the uh, government collapses and they will just change into the, their civilian clothes and, and run away. Uh, the spirits were low, morale was low. Uh, there was absolutely no confidence uh, that this will be, there will be any military resistance to what will happen. Uh, but of course, many of us were under the illusion that the war will be uh, civilian friendly. Uh, you know, uh, George Bush at the time promised Iraqis that this would be a war uh, fought with smart bombs, that civilians would be spared. Uh, to, some, to some degree, that did happen in many parts of Iraq. But um, of course, we, uh, you know, happened, uh, you know, we came to learn the hard way that there is no such thing uh, as a, a civilian friendly war. Uh, you know, my neighborhood in Baghdad was was bombed heavily. I lived next to the airport, uh, and many of my neighbors uh, were killed and injured. Uh, and of course, as you mentioned earlier, uh, the years uh, that followed uh, witnessed hundreds of thousands of Iraqi civilians uh, who were killed and injured, uh, millions who were uh, displaced outside the country. So it was uh, the beginning of a catastrophic event. 